Goldstein, and I'm an instructor with Maracana. I teach HTML5 and some of the mobile modules. Today, I want to show you two browser tools for viewing hardware acceleration in CSS. To take a step back, one disadvantage of using CSS animations, also known as keyframe animations, instead of the more vanilla transitions, is that the browser is not doing any interpolation. Now, interpolation is when the computer determines all of the unknown points between a set of known points. More concretely, if we have a point A, B, and C, it's when the computer determines all the intermediate points between A, B, and C. Now, in order to speed things up in our keyframe animations, we can leverage what's called hardware acceleration. Hardware acceleration is the offloading of work from the CPU to the GPU, the graphics card on your computer. Now, to trigger hardware acceleration in our keyframes, we can simply set the property transform to the value translate 3D000. We can actually use any of the 3D transform properties to trigger hardware acceleration. So not just translate 3D, but also scale 3D, rotate 3D, or even rotate Z. Now we can use these properties even if we don't have a reason to. We can simply add translate 3D000 to any keyframe in order to implement hardware acceleration. Now once you've added this, it's really helpful to be able to see if it's taken effect. So I want to show you how to turn on the viewing of hardware acceleration in both Chrome and Safari. So let's take a look. So let's start off by looking at how this works in Chrome. So open up a new Chrome window and type about flags in the URL bar. This is going to bring up all of your different options that you can set and different things that you can enable. And the one that you're going to want to look for is composite render layer borders. It's a little bit farther down. Let's search for it. And there's a few different options for composite. So here's the one we need, composited render layer borders. So I already have it turned on, so let me turn it off and re-enable it. In order to see this come into effect, you need to restart Chrome. So let's go ahead and relaunch Chrome. Now what this is going to do is it's going to paint in Chrome anything that Chrome itself is compositing. In other words, sort of putting together in the browser. In other words, hardware accelerating. So I want to show you one example. This is from a GitHub page from a series of code examples that I did for the HTML5 dev conference. Uh, it's got a rotating sailboat, a sea that's moving up and down, and then another layer where a sea is moving back and forth. Now the way that this ship animation works is it's a rotate Z, which would be triggering hardware acceleration. Uh, and so let's just look at the code real quick just to have a, a see at what it's doing. So we can actually just take a look at the CSS. The animation is called Rock, and here it is. So it's just a transform, a rotate Z of negative 2 degrees to 4 degrees. So this is considered a 3D transform because we're using rotate Z, uh, not just rotate. And that's what's causing the hardware acceleration. Now there's two other animations I want to show you. One is called Ocean Rise, which does have an orange border around it. And I'm just using a scale here. So you might ask the question, why is this being hardware accelerated? Um, so let me just take a break and show you something in the Chromium blog, which is a list of all of the things that will actually trigger hardware acceleration in Chrome. And you can see here that one of them is if you use a CSS animation for a WebKit transform. So it's actually going to do hardware acceleration not just for the 3D transforms, but also for any transform that is being animated via a keyframe. So that's why this first ocean is being um, hardware accelerated. Now there's one more, waves pass. This is just changing background position back and forth. And you can see it, it's a little bit underneath. Uh, this is actually a separate layer, and it does not have an orange border around it. So that is not using any kind of a transform be it 3D or an animated transform, and so we do not see hardware acceleration here. So that's how you take a look at this in Chrome. So let's switch over to the terminal and have a look at how we do this in Safari. Basically, this is the magic flag. We're just going to run Safari with this flag set, CA color opaque set to 1, which is going to paint a red background on anything that's hardware accelerated. And then you just want to provide the path to your Safari. So this is the path to mine. Uh, your mileage may vary depending on your OS. So we're just going to run that. It's going to launch a new Safari. Uh, and once I close that Safari, this option will no longer be there. It just lives for the duration that this particular Safari is open. So I'm going to paste in the same link to the sailboat. 
And just as in Chrome, we're seeing hardware acceleration on the rocking boat and in the rising and falling wave, but not on the wave that is simply animating a change to background position. Um, so we can look at just one other thing and have a see at maybe a different site. This is a really cool demo by Anthony Calzadilla. Um, we could take a look at it in Chrome, but let's, let's check it out in Safari. Oops. We're going to see a lot of red because a lot of his stuff is uh, using hardware acceleration, really just, uh, so here's your, he basically redid the intro to Madman. It's pretty impressive. So you can see here a whole bunch of stuff is being hardware accelerated, pretty much all the different elements on the page. So thanks so much for watching this screencast. If you want to learn more, I did a talk at the HTML5 Dev Conference. I also have a book, Learning CSS3 Animations and Transitions from Pearson. I teach HTML5 courses and mobile courses from Maracana. If you want to see when a course is coming up in your area or an online course, take a look at this link. And if you want to track me down at any time, I'm always happy to answer questions. And really, the best way to find me is on Twitter. I'm just at Alexis Goldstein. I really hope you enjoyed this screencast. Have a great day.